Hello, darling. Come in, come in. Hello, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now, today, this is yet another update letting you know what's going on for the future of this channel. I did, in fact, order a uh, Tar Man from The Return of the Living Dead. I do have the Trash Zombie as well as the Mohawk Zombie. The only one I don't have as of uh, the Trick or Treat collection is the, uh, the Party's uh, Skull or the Party Skeleton. That one, for some reason, I hesitate to order it because the way they made it in the movie, the actual party skull in itself does not have a tongue. So why they decided to put a tongue on it, I'm sure they have their reasons. But that's what may, kind of makes me hesitate on buying it. But don't get me wrong, sometime down the line, I might purchase it just simply to complete the collection. And what you're looking at right now is Trick or Treat Sam. It is the unmasked version, so I'm going to let you stare at that while I talk. But anyway, that mask in itself is being processed by Big Bad Toy Store. And I have a few other items I'm going to talk about here further down. Uh, that will be coming in, and I've mentioned them in the other videos as well. Uh, for Trick or Treat Studios, I might hesitate buying things from them for a while. Because with the shipping and handling, things are just getting too expensive nowadays. And the prices just keep going up instead of down, which don't make no sense. I'll tell you why. It is because they don't regulate business and say, hey, you are charging too much. Let's cut it down. They don't want to do that because business pretty much uh, runs the world. Because without those guys, we wouldn't have jobs and stuff. You know, the usual stuff. So they kind of have a tendency to cater to them. Uh, especially Republicans, they love to do that shit. They, they want to deregulate everything on Wall Street. And give them tax cuts and all that good stuff. But anyway, long story short, I don't want to get into that. Uh, the uh, the Tar Man, which is Trick or Treat Studios, I believe Justin Mabry is the one that actually created or uh, designed the actual. Or he actually created it, sculpt wise. That one's coming in. I wanted to order it way back in the day, but I hesitated because I wanted to buy other masks besides that one. But I decided to go ahead the other day and order it because I wanted to get a Frankenstein mask. It's called the Frankenfink. It's online, but to, they're at some unreliable resources to purchase them. And it's like, okay, I'm just not going to buy it right now. It's not on Trick or Treat Studios. It's not on Amazon. It's not even in Big Bad Toy Store. The major ones like that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to hold off on that. Because that's a Frankenstein mask, and i got a huge collection of uh, Frankenstein masks. I got... A little over, well, 11, 11 Frankenstein masks, including my ceramic one that you're supposed to put outside. But I got 11 Frankenstein masks. So I do like Frankenstein. They're a very cool mask to collect. Uh, but anyway, uh, that one's coming in, the Tarman. As soon as it gets uh, processed, I'll let you know. And we'll do a video on that, a review on it. And, you know, we'll talk about that in the movie in itself. Um, other things that are coming in through Big Bad Toy Store would be the... Elvira, the NECA figure from Elvira. I'm waiting for that to come in. Uh, I did pre-order um, the uh, Raphael uh, Teenage Ninja, Ninja Turtle, uh, the Frankenstein version, but then I took it off, and now it is in stock, okay? So that's another thing. I might further down the line order that again because I wanted it, but then I didn't want it, so I took it out. Uh, I also got two uh, Toonie Terrors coming in. One is from the American Werewolf in London with Jack. Uh, that looks very cool. It's very cartoony-like. Now, I will tell you this about that. That is not the Kessler's wolf. That's not David Kessler. I believe it is the original wolf that actually attacked David and killed Jack. I believe that's what this wolf is. Uh, he is a little bit different in some aspects, but that's a Toonie Terror thing. But anyway, that's coming in. And I also have uh, Halloween 3. I have uh, Toonie Terrors coming in for, based on that, based on the three characters, the witch, the skull, and the pumpkin kid. Well, the mask, what they wear, the kids are. Anyway, I've got that coming in. There seems to be a hate for that movie simply because it didn't have Michael Myers in it. And I truly loved the movie when, I first, when it first came out in the 80s. I'm like, yeah, that's a pretty cool movie. It's different. Uh, upon seeing the actual 1978 Michael Myers movie, people are like, okay, that's a badass movie. I love that movie. So they decided to go ahead and push out a second one, which came out, I think, two years later in 1979 or 1980, I think it is. But anyway, that movie was also really good. So fans were under the speculation that 
oh yeah, this, there's going to be a third movie coming out. It's going to have Michael Myers in it. Didn't turn out that way. Let me tell you why. The entire franchise in itself, and I've said this in my other videos, Halloween was not meant to be about Michael Myers. Uh, it was actually meant to be a horror slash Halloween type, different type of movies. That was the original plan with it. But since the popularity of the last two movies, and upon seeing Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, and it didn't have no Michael Myers in it, other than a cameo within the TV screen, uh, people were seriously upset. They didn't have Michael Myers in it. I don't like that movie. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell when it comes to these fans. It didn't have Michael Myers in it, so they classify this movie as not being a good movie. And i got a different opinion about that because I like it for what it is, even though it didn't have Michael in it. But it was still a good movie in itself. The protagonist, or the antagonists, are the witch, the pumpkin, and the skull. Okay, they are synonymous to that movie. And NECA has been jumping on that, creating all kinds of stuff. Anyway, there is some Toonie Terrors coming in based on that. Once that comes in, we'll do videos on that. All right. But that's pretty much it when it comes to updates right now. Uh, now, I on Amazon.com, uh, I did have some masks, but I've since taken them off because I think I'm done uh, purchasing masks right now. Because I simply just don't have the room in, the, uh, in my room for them. Because they're all over the wall. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so i got to stop buying those things for a while. Uh, but that's pretty much what's going to be happening with this channel. When it comes to the figures and the masks that are coming in. Oh, I got one more uh, through Big Bad Toy Store. It is based on Goosebumps. It is the pumpkin. I forgot what they call it. The jack-o'-lantern or something. But anyway, it is a mask. It's a little cheaper uh, than your traditional mask. That is on pre-order. I will be purchasing that. That will be coming in. We'll do a, a video on that one as well, okay? I like the design of that pumpkin because I love pumpkins. I think they're cool. They're the coolest aspects about Halloween is pumpkins. Now, I've got some pretty cool looking uh, Halloween figures in the way of actual pumpkins like Spirit Halloween. i got a very cool looking candle and a bunch of other pumpkins. But anyway, I do love pumpkins. Now, that mask is actually going to be coming in once they let me know. We'll do a video on that. But in the meantime, this is pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments about any of the videos, don't hesitate to comment and let me know what's going on. I do check my uh, channel out every single day. And I also have another channel that I haven't really done anything on in over six months. Uh, it is Giant Monsters and Beyond. It is based on Giant Monsters, obviously, and some other stuff. I got a little bit of Christmas, Halloween on that. Um, obviously, Giant Monsters, Godzilla, Gamma. King Ghidorah, uh, King Kong, you know, um, other monsters and stuff like that. I got a bunch of videos based on that. And some sci-fi type stuff too. I got some, uh, I think, Gorgo on there. A little bit of everything. I will leave a link down below if you want to check out that other channel. Or you just hit the uh, the top of the browser here in my, um, well, towards the address bar, the banner. That's it. There's a link there. You can click on that link and go straight to the channel. And go ahead and check that out. That's been online for about 10, 10 years, I think. Uh, I haven't gotten much in the way of subscribing because that particular channel really concentrates heavy on anything Giant Monster related. And there's so many YouTubers out there jumping on that bandwagon. And they obviously do a better job than me because they got the resources. And they also know how to, you know, talk and stuff like that. Me, I kind of struggle with it. So my channel's not as popular because of that kind of stuff. But I am knowledge, don't get me wrong, okay? Uh, but anyway, long story short, I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because like, uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing some more videos. And I still got to concentrate on my witchcraft uh, playlist. And I got some day of the day I want to show you. A little bit of everything. So I'm going to keep it interesting on this channel. It is definitely going to be Halloween and horror related on this channel alone, okay? But anyway, you guys have yourselves a good day, and I hope you enjoyed this particular mask. I do have the other mask as well from Sam. It is the burlap bag version that's sitting up on the shelf as well. But anyway, you guys have yourselves a good day.